Welcome, people of YouTube. Nerdy Librarian here with the success of the Fallout TV show on Amazon Prime. I wondered. You know, now might be the opportune time to get into one of my favorite games of all time. I haven't played it on PC yet, don't have the achievements in the game yet, so I wanted to save this for you guys. And while I've got some free time here, it seems like a good time to do that. So, as you can see, we have all the DLCs as well, but not going to worry so much about that. What I want to do is jump into a new game. Let's get ready for Fallout New Vegas. Buckle up, people. It's going to be a fun ride. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. 
dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Here we are, Fallout New Vegas. Ooh, mercenary pack items added. Wow, nice. Classic pack items added is like that. Armored Vault 13 items. Got caravan pack items. Oh man. Wow. Really? How about that? Tribal pack items added. Are, are you kidding me? The guy who seemingly shot me in game left me with all this stuff you gotta be nuts right oh my gosh it just keeps coming how do I have room for all this easy there easy you've been out cold a couple of days now why don't you just relax a second get your bearings let's see what the damage is how about your name can you tell me your name uh courier's not a good name for this let's uh Let's go Shen, Annie, Gans. Wait. Did I spell that correctly? Is it one N or two? I'm not, I'm not sure here. You know, I, I write in my free time. I write fiction in my free time. You think I would know, you'd think I would know a word as good as shenanigans, right? Uh, turns out, oh no, it's one. I spelled it correctly. As they said in Lego Batman movie, first try. Winning. Huh. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, <laughs> that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework. But you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Here we go, character creation. Okay, hello, Mr. Basic Man. Okay, let's go with that. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, what do, what do we got here? We got, I think, you know what? <laughs> yeah, there it is, there it is. That, that, oh my gosh. You know, it, I, I like that. I do like that. You know what that kind of looks like? That looks like this guy had one of those uh, Zetons from Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 as as a parent. I don't know which one, but he's got one. Oh! <laughs> anyway, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Can we randomize the hair as well? Oh, uh, I can't randomize it, so I'm just going to have to uh, choose something. Oh, okay, okay. We're cooking. We're cooking. Preset is custom. Mm. Hey, it's a Weasley now. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> ah, yeah, no, let's not do that. Uh, Harry Potter can stay... Uh, eh. Yikes. Boy, I'm messing this hair up. Hmm. Okay. Let's not spend too long in character creation, so let's go with that. Oh, facial hair. The gunslinger. Oh, this guy just looks sus. You know, this game has casinos in it. This guy walks in, I, I half expect him to be thrown out with the trash. Just first thing. He walks in, everybody just gives him the stink eye. Yikes. Or, ooh, the mutton. 
the mutton stash. <laughs> oh, uh oh. <laughs> we could go with something basic like that or that. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, I, I do, I do like the gunslinger. You know, it actually has a little bit of, uh, oh, uh, oh, what's his name? Val Kilmer as Doc Holliday in Tombstone vibes for me. That's what this has. I mean, the hair's wrong for it, but it's fine. This guy, he looks like he means business, but he's, he's just up to random stuff. He's just a random dude. Are you sure you want this to be your character? No, but let's do it anyway. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on. Oh. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Oh my gosh. It, it's not a race, but it so moves far. fast. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Okay. Okay. Well, first of all... You know, starting out as, as fives in most things, I think, is good. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're up to shenanigans, right? This will come in handy later, I swear. It's for good purposes. With luck like yours, I'm surprised them bullets didn't just turn right around and climb back into the gun. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Yeah, and the hilarious thing is, you know, I'm pretty sure this, this, uh, the doctor here has specific voice lines, depending on what you choose. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Burglarized. Night. Shroud. Bandit. Swiss cheese. Light. Flash! Ha! Ah! Mother. Yikes. Caretaker. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Uh, no opinion. I ain't given to relying on others for support. No opinion. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Hmm, no tent, no opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Strongly agree. <laughs> I charge in to deal with my problems head on. No opinion. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Um... An angry two-headed ant. Yeah, I see it too. Okay. How about this one? Uh... Some piece of space age... Yeah, space age technology, if I could speak. That's how fancy it is. <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to say what it... Oh my... Oh uh, no. No, I, I can't. Last one. Uh... Okay. I do see the bearded man on that one. Where do we get a head on a pillow? Uh, well, maybe. You know, no, I see a bearded man. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Oh. Yeah, it's my, uh, special stats. Uh...
Okay, that might be helpful survival. Melee is good. I like lockpicking too. Oh, uh, but I want... You know, you know... I want to take out from that, actually. I mean, I could put into barter, but I want guns. Guns! Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Ah, dang it. The world ends in-game. And they still expect you to do paperwork. Yikes. Okay, built to destroy. The flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have plus 3% chance to critically hit, but equipment condition decays 15% faster. How about no? Uh, claustrophobia, you have a fear of enclosed spaces, probably because of the mutants that live there. You gain plus 1 to special attributes when outside, but suffer negative 1 when indoors. Ugh. Early bird. Hey, early risers! Enjoy a plus 2 to each of your special attributes from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., but suffer a minus 1 from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., when you're not at your best. Hmm. How about fast shot? While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly, but your shots are 20% less accurate. Eh. Four eyes! While wearing any type of glasses, you have a plus one perception. Without glasses, you have negative one. Ugh. Good natured. You're good natured at heart, more prone to solving problems. Oh. You know, I'm trying to read this game. Okay. You gain plus 5 to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech, but have negative 5 to energy weapons, explosive guns, melee weapons, and unarmed. No, heavy-handed. Your melee and unarmed attacks do more damage, but less critical hit damage. Let's keep going. Hoarder, you gain plus 25 pounds to your carrying capacity, but suffer a negative 1 to all attributes any time the weight you're carrying drops below 160 pounds. We'll come back to this one. <laughs> hey, hey. You know, not gonna lie, very rarely does does my carry weight ever drop below low numbers in these games. I'm, I'm notoriously the guy that fills up on his inventory without checking how much he has, and then goes, Oh shoot, I need to drop a few things. Here, let me just litter all over your floor. You can sell these later, you can thank me later. Oh, really? You're telling me not to drop this stuff here? Come on! I'm that guy. Hey, hey. If you want to be that guy, if you want to be the person that just one guy is a shop owner or a guard or just anybody, I'm the guy to talk to. I, I'm I'm that guy. Well, I'm high blooded. When your health drops below 50%, you gain plus 10% more damage, but you also suffer negative two to your agility and perception attributes. Very bad if you're in a gunfight. I will say. Kamikaze. You have plus 10 action points, but your reckless nature causes you to have negative 2 damage threshold. Yikes, you take more damage. Oh, I don't want Logan's loophole. I know what that does, I looked this one up before I played. No one's going to put you out to pasture, because you're going to stay young. In level 30, forever. You'll never again become addicted to kittens. In the last twice as long. But after 30... You can kiss experience, perks, and skill points goodbye. I don't want that. Loose cannon. <clears throat> Loose cannon. From frag grenades to throwing spears, you can throw weapons 30% faster at the cost of 25% range. So it seems like all of these things are, you know, you get a perk, but then there's a drawback to it. Let's keep going. Skilled. You're skilled, but not experienced. You gain plus 5 points to every skill, but you suffer negative 10 from experience gained from now on. Hmm. How about small frame? Due to your small size, you have plus 1 agility, but your limbs are more easily crippled. Is that it? Yep, that's it on that one. Trigger discipline. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more slowly, but are 20% more accurate. And Wild Wasteland. Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America. Not for the faint of heart, or the series of government. You know what? The guy's name is Shen Anigans. <laughs> Shenanigans, if you catch my drift. This is right up our alley. You know what? It all makes sense. It falls into place. <laughs> Let's do this. Boom! Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out.
let's see here. Okay, that's jump, W, A, S, D, movement. Uh, okay, E, it seems, is how I interact with things. Well, what's, what's my sneak button? I think, I think the volume's okay on this as well. But I, I do, I do want to change some settings before we go into things here. So, yeah, we'll keep that as that. Normal difficulty, saving... True iron sights, that's fine. Uh, display. Brightness, I think, is okay. HUD color. Oh, I... Can I... I can get a green. I want the green on the... the oh, wait, no, that's, that's HUD color. Let's go amber on the HUD color. And green on the Pip-Boy, because I do like the Pip-Boy. Texture size, we've got fades, that's fine. Crosshair... Uh, general subtitles, we want that on. We want to see what people are saying. Makes it a little easier for people that are watching that maybe, you know, are a little bit hard of hearing or, you know, they don't, or, you know, they're in a loud place and that sort of thing. It might be a little more difficult to hear the dialogue. That's fine. We've got subtitles for you. And actually, we'll pick up, it'll pick up the subtitles on just the, mo the wackiest of things, which... Seeing as how we turned on Wild Wasteland, that's perfect. Uh, yeah. We'll keep these audio settings as is for right now, but leave comments down below if you don't necessarily like the audio settings, or if you have a preferred audio settings schema that you like to use for this game. That would be very helpful. And then, yeah, here are controls, action mapping. So, strafe left, strafe right, obviously. Ooh, we don't have an attack button. I'm gonna make that... Oh, can I not make that my left click? Ooh. Well... Hmm. Press F to pay respects. Or bonk people. One of the two. Uh, activate is E. Block is left alt. I don't know if I like that. I... Let's see. Uh, I mean, if our strafes are left and right on that, then... I mean, if we can block... Let's go Q on the block. That might be a little bit easier with walking around. I can just do that. Ready, reload, makes sense. Sneak is left control. I want that to be left shift. Run, apparently, is in this game. Okay. Left control. Always run. Caps lock. Guess what's getting spammed? That one. Auto move, left alt, shouldn't have to hit that. Space for jump. Change view. Uh, let's go F5 on that one. I'm j Hey, I'm used to that from Minecraft, so let's do that. Pip boy tab, makes sense. Wait is T for time, good. Vats is V. Ammo... S Ammo swap, okay. Uh, quick save, quick save, quick save, quick save. Oh, you know, Q would have made sense for quick save. Uh... Hmm... Let's put it on C. Uh, quick load is F9, and Z is grab. Okay. Not gonna forget any of that at all. For anybody that doesn't know, that's kind of an inside joke with me. Can't quick save the game while the game is paused. Here, let's, uh, let's, uh, test this. Boom! Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Well, what do I do now? You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. 
I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. You know, I really don't make a habit of it. Hardcore mode! Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Right away removes radiation over time, ammunition is weight, and dehydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. You may turn hardcore mode on or off at any time in the gameplay menu, but if you activate hardcore mode now and maintain it through the end of the main storyline, you will receive a special reward. Would you like to activate hardcore mode? No, we're gonna go with the recommended option. This is my first playthrough on PC. You know what? Well, ain't that a kick in the head? Look at that achievement pop up. Easy as that, we started the game. Thanks, Doc, for patching us up. Oh, wait, you know what I forgot to do? Tab, tab, so the locals don't make fun of me. Weapons. All weapons fall under a weapon skill category that determines how effective the weapon is. Guns, energy weapons, explosives, melee weapons, or unarmed. Compare the small icon below and to the left of the weapon's icon to the icon shown on the Pip-Boy's skill menu. Damage and damage per second. These indicate the base damage and damage per second, respectively. Weapons with a low damage have difficulty penetrating armor. If you hit a target's damage threshold, switch to a weapon with a higher damage or use ammo that reduces the target's damage threshold. E.g. armor piercing. Strength and skill. Many weapons have a strength and or skill requirement. If your character does not meet the strength or skill requirement for the weapon, its aim will wobble. If a firearm, or it will attack more slowly if a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. Condition. A weapon's condition affects the amount of damage it does. At 75% condition or higher, a weapon does maximum damage and only needs to be maintained. A weapon with low condition will do less damage and may jam when reloaded. Repair and mod. These options take you to the Repair and Mods submenus, where you may repair damaged equipment or attach weapon modifications, respectively. Alright. Apparel. Apparel can consist... <coughs> Let me restart that one. Yikes, botched it. Apparel can consist of many different types of gear, ranging from clothing and armor to sunglasses and hats. Damage Threshold. Some apparel grants damage threshold to the wearer. Your damage threshold is the sum of all damage threshold for currently equipped apparel, plus any bonuses from perks or chems. Damage threshold is directly subtracted from incoming damage, so a higher damage threshold provides superior protection. Though a small percentage of damage can get through even the thickest armor, a high damage threshold is quite valuable. Condition. Apparel's condition, CND, affects how much protection it provides. Apparel above 50% condition provides maximum protection and only needs to be maintained. Light, medium, heavy. Medium and heavy apparel will slow characters down when equipped. Repair. This option opens the repair sub-menu, which allows apparel to be repaired by salvaging parts from similar items. Okay, all of this stuff is going to be necessary and I'm probably going to forget some details. But we have the Vault 21 jumpsuit on right now, which is fine, so it adds some increases to melee weapons and speech. Ooh, Armored Vault 13 jumpsuit, though. We could have a damage threshold right off the bat of 8. Or Lightweight Leather Armor. I'm actually going to use the leather... Yeah, I'm going to use the Lightweight Leather, just because, you know, it's light armor, it doesn't give an me any minuses in agility or anything like that. That's a whole special point down. If I need to run away, well, run as much as you can in Fallout New Vegas. You know how it is. Uh, aid. We're gonna be going back to that menu. Okay, ammunition. Ammunition is used by almost all guns and energy weapons, but it's sometimes used by other weapon types. Basic ammo types have no special effects, but ammo subtypes may increase damage, reduce an enemy's damage threshold, or even decrease a weapon spread. Effects are listed on the ammo sub-menu sub when the ammo is highlighted. Most weapons can use any ammo subtype that starts with the same name as the base ammo. Common ammo subtypes include armor piercing, ignores a large portion of the enemy's damage threshold, and does slightly more damage. Hollow point does much more damage, but is easily blocked by armor. Overcharge. Used by energy weapons, increases damage, but degrades the weapon more quickly. 
Slug. Used by shotguns, slugs replace buckshot with a single large bullet that is more accurate. Yeah, don't you wish uh, they had slugs in some of the other Fallout games? Like Fallout 4, the range on those... The range on those things is just awful. And to switch ammo subtypes, equip them on this menu. Outside of the Pip-Boy, press 2 to cycle through ammo subtypes for your currently equipped weapon. Okay. Okay. And then we've got the radio miscellaneous. I actually want to read this. Instructions. Deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vegas Strip by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint. Take possession of the package and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Back in the saddle, talk to Sunny Smiles in the Prospector Saloon. And they wait, they had away. We'll get to that eventually. That's that's main quest. And then you are here. Good Springs. We're neutral right now, and this is the map of uh, Fallout New Vegas. But I'm sure with DLC, there's there's added sections. Actually, I I can almost guarantee that. But you know what? Let's get back to actual gameplay here. Oh, right, I have to hit tab again, though. No. Yep. Old World Blues. You've gotten a fragmented signal on your Pip-Boy, a coded transmission of some sort with a sad, jazzy undercurrent that makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to the midnight science fiction feature at the Mojave Drive-In. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Old World Blues has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised by five. Excellent. The Reunion. Your pit boys received a signal, coordinates that lead to the canyon wreckage west of Prim. Following the coordinates of the words Courier 6, it's signed Ulysses. Lonesome Road has been loaded. Your level cap has been increased by 5. Happy Trails Expedition. Your pit boys picked up a radio broadcast from the Happy Trails Caravan Company. They're looking for one more member for an expedition to Zion Valley. Honest Hearts has been loaded. Your level cap has been raised by 5. Gunrunner's Arsenal. The ongoing conflict in the Mojave Wasteland has kicked weapon manufacturers into high gear. All major and minor weapon dealers in the region are rolling in new weapons, ammunition types, and modifications. Head to your nearest participating vendor to peruse the merchandise. Gunrunner's Arsenal has been loaded. So that's a lot. Um, now I will say, I will say, and I, I want to pull this up. I do like the radio music in New Vegas. I really do. I don't want to get demonetized accidentally. So please let me know if it's safe to play the radio music. I'm not going to play it for this part, but please leave a comment on that. Let me know. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm doing the right thing, YouTube. <laughs> okay, we're good. Anyways, enough of my hamminess. Let's, let's get into... Oh, cool bird. Okay. Yep, so that's the... That's the sneak button. Sierra Madre Grand Opening. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast inviting you to the grand opening of the Sierra Madre Casino. Dead money loaded. Your level cap has been raised by 5. That puts us at level cap of 50. You know, the, the same that Elder Scrolls Oblivion has as it happens. That's nice. It's nice to be able to get to level 50. Level 30, when I first played New Vegas, was just... That was a bummer. That's That's a bummer. Ooh, ooh, mailbox. Empty. Ah! <laughs> I had to try, you know. Ooh, Buffalo Gourd. Buffalo Gourd seed added. Okay. Is that any good? Oops, I forgot clicking on things in your aid actually uses them. Also, I need to get used to the fact that my inventory is just tab and tab alone. Okay. Okay. Well, there's the saloon. That seems like a good place to start. That's where our uh, quest marker is. Hey, Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Uh... First of all, why are you called Easy Pete, my guy? was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. 
Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. So, you're a prospector. Is that like uh, digging for gold and silver or uh, what else would that involve? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts, good money in it. Did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. What do you use these big horners for? You mentioned that. What? First of all, what are those, and then what do you use them for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Hey, uh... I, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but... You see a scar on my head here? Yeah, the the big the big one right on my forehead. Yeah, this guy in a checkered jacket, I think, shot me. I it's kinda fuzzy, I don't remember. That could just be the, the fuzziness of my vision going. Anyway, for uh don't need to I don't need to give you more details than that. I, I don't even know. But uh, do you happen to know anything about the people that attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Alright. Uh, also, uh, hey, Doc Weathers up there. He, I, ah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm still getting used to being awake here, so my memory's a little, uh, I think he said something about a big metal guy. Vincent Vector. Oh, v Victor, Victor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name was Victor. Do you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Hey, thanks for your help. Goodbye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. All right. Saloon time. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Uh... Hey. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Can you? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Alright. Alright, Sonny. Hey, uh, uh, you know what? Y you said meet you, but I'll just, uh, I'll just follow you, okay? Does that work? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be nosy. I'm, I'm new here. Oh, there you are. Hi. Oh, gun range we got here. Okay. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. All right. Varmint rifle. Missed it. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Yeah, yeah. Try crouching down and staying still. Yep, I picked up on that already. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sounds like fun. Okay, I'm in. End tutorial. I think I learned. Nah, 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 nah. 
Hey, hey, it's free XP, people. Free XP. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. They call this running. This is running? That's that's funny. Hey, what else do we have in our uh, weapon slots in the game here? Sturdy caravan shotgun. Okay. A 9 mil. Mercenary's grenade rifle. A weather 10 mil. Woo! Pretty good. I don't need stats for most of these. And the ones I do need stats for, I might have the stats for. Uh, except the throwing spears, maybe, but that's fine. Having a wonderful time! <laughs> hey, it was getting to be a long run, okay? We're, it, we're going quite a ways here. Had to do something to just... I'm just remembering back to a Russian Badger video, okay? Hey, you want a great YouTuber? You know, sarcastic is usually better, right? He's pretty sarcastic, so... Yeah. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. VATS. Welcome to the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System, or VATS. VATS displays the chance you will hit, along with the condition of each body part. Mouse 1, attack your target. Mouse 2, cancel an attack. E, accept your actions. Left click on the left or right arrows to switch to a new target. The number of attacks you can make is limited by your action points. Oh, right, mouse button is to return, okay. There's a few of them. Says we're detected. Oh, yeah. Those two behind us. Alright. I could, or I could use VATS. Ah. Little farmants. Oh, five XP. What happened to you? What happened to you, ugly? Did you encounter a dog? Oh yeah, you did. Hey, I played bait. I did it. Oh, that switch view, huh? Can't even see my ugly mug. Dang. Gecko hide and gecko meat. Take the gecko meat off of you, that's fine. Okay, how do I... Oh, E's exit menu, duh, it says it. Low perceptive ability strikes again! Oh, and a gecko egg? Oh uh, yeah, we'll take the gecko hide too, why not? Can sell that. Can I put my weapon away? By any chance? See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Caps? Sure, I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Yeah, and you get you get ammo for this. Okay, how do you... Sunny, Sunny, just a quick question. How do you holster... You know what? No clue. I, I think you just... 
go like that. Oh yeah, we'll sneak up on him. Hey, you're just gonna leave him behind like this? Come on. That's littering. <laughs> yeah, you know, of all of the gripes you could ever have with the Mojave Wasteland, or even any wasteland for that matter, that's littering is probably one of the least of those. <laughs> Not gonna lie. There's there's garbage and junk everywhere. Case in point. Oh, you started the party without me. Come on. Okay, okay. I get it. I'm moving slowly out here, but... Could have saved some for me. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. And making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, sure, you're nice enough. Couldn't hurt. Alright then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. I'm cooking, Jesse! I'm cooking! <laughs> okay, data! What are we at here? We got anything good here? By a campfire on the trail. Well, darn tootin' right we are. Well, we're gonna be. We're gonna make it work. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking, Jesse. <laughs> Reload. You know, I don't think... I don't think holstering's a thing in this. Also, my, my mouse buttons are the attack ones. And I'm gonna guess block, so... It probably doesn't matter. I just set uh, key binds on those just in case. Uh, you know what? I bet the schoolhouse is closer, right? Take, take a sip from. It keep okay. You keep popping that message up there. What? My trusty. Wait, did I actually just drop that? Yep. Uh, okay. What is it, like a water purifier or something? It's... Oh, that looks like a schoolhouse back there. Which, me totally not having played this game before on console or anything... I wouldn't know that. <laughs> Mail fro Ooh, La Fantoma. Sneak plus ten. Also, the magazines in this, I believe, if I remember correctly, they're just kind of temporary boosts. They're not they're not permanent in any way, shape, or form. Okay. So I wonder what sorts of critters were Hold up! Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Hmm. Hip accuracy is not good on this thing. Repeat, hip accuracy is not good. Hey, while you're stuck, you you hold it right there, varmint. You hold it right there. Oh, god, gaga. My ankles. See you, chump. Hey, oh, Giant mantis nymph. 
four legs. They don't have any weight to them. That seems suspicious. But they do have value. I can I can sell those. Wheel and deal. Okay. Then I started blasting. Terrible. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. I'll get you eventually. Just hold on. Hold on there. Hold on there, partner. Okay. Well, she said it was... Ooh. Mantis Uthica. Nothing in it, but... Ugh, what's Uthica? Hey, Wonder Glue. That might be useful. Just Wonder Glue. A great commodity from the wasteland. You never know what you're going to need it for. Okay, not gonna lie, my aim's not great in this. I... I need to upgrade some skills, people. Oh. Okay, I've got bobby pins. So, uh, what, how does this work? WASD, apply torque with the screwdriver. Mouse, rotate the bobby pin. F, force lock. When torque is applied, the closer the bobby pin is to the correct position or sweet spot, the more the lock will rotate before the bobby pin breaks. Only when the bobby pin is in the correct position will the lock rotate fully and open. You can also try to open a lock by forcing it, but if you fail, the lock will permanently will be permanently broken and it can only be opened with a key. So, I'm not going to lie. I actually... In, in the past, I've been an idiot with this on console. So... I don't remember there being controls for the, the WASD on that. So, can, can you guess where I'm going with this, by the way? I... I would always force the lock, not knowing I had other controls available to me. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm glad I just learned differently. That's, that's awesome. So much better. Uh. Also, you're probably wondering, why are you taking so many items? Is it because you can? Is it because you're bored? Is it because you just like the way the toy car looks in your inventory? And I mean, the toy car, you really can't tell in your inventory. It's just a pile of junk. Look at that. Look at that. It's just a pile of parts. Because that's what it's there for. No, no, no. I'm picking stuff up because I can. And because I really want to get to that 160 mark. Because if if I'm right about this, my stats are down a little bit. <laughs> yeah. My stats are all down until I get to 160. Ah, I knew I left a mantis somewhere. There we go. Okay, let's get some uh, flowers and cook. Hey, Xanderu. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. This is going to allow us to make uh, stim packs, I believe, right? Huge. Stim packs are just huge commodities in the wasteland. Especially this game. I, I feel like this game, it's it's harder to get them, if I remember correctly. There's, there's definitely a greater emphasis on the scarcity of materials. And also one on the, hey, you actually need to do a little bit of survival work. So, that's fantastic. What do we got here? We got anything good here? Okay, nothing in the drop box. Some good old dumpster diving. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Big horners. Okay. I won't attack you. You don't attack me. We're good. Oh, you know what? That's stealing. I don't want to do that right now. I just got to town. You know, you just picked me up from my... Scorpions.
Bark Scorpion. Boom! Take that right in your face. Right in the face. Oh, they're de they're definitely more scorpions up there. Oh no, no. Bloat flies? Yep, bloat flies. That's actually I'd say those are even more dangerous than the scorpions, but you know what? They're they're small for enemies, right? We can take them out easily enough. Bug Stomper, 10 out of 50. We're 20% of the way there already. Good Spring Cemetery discovered. Bloatfly frenzied. Okay, bloatfly me. Hey! <laughs> Goodbye! Hee <laughs> hee. Oh. 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 Is that where I. Oh, this is where I was dug up from, huh? This is the place. This is where those pieces of poo put me in. Oh, I need a shovel. Okay. Keep out that way. You know what? I'll heed that warning. I, you know, keep out signs in the Fallout universe usually mean something. They usually have some sort of meaning that actually makes sense. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I remember what's that, what is that direction. And you know what? I, I was just talking to my brother the other day. And he was mentioning that you know, he's not very far into the game, and there's certain enemies that he really doesn't like. Um, but he hasn't even discovered the enemy type that is really, truly the most annoying in Fallout New Vegas. He hasn't discovered that. He, he doesn't know about it. And I'm not going to spoil it for those of you who haven't seen any Fallout New Vegas gameplay, but for those who do know, if you know, you know. Am I right? Or am I right? Anywho, Sunny, where are you? I know you're in this direction. I, I got those plants. I'm ready. I'm ready to cook. I'm ready to cook. Come on. <sighs> wow, she's a ways down here. Oh, yeah, she's probably where I left her, right? Yeah. Yeah. Open refrigerator. Oh! Hey, it's a wild wasteland thing. Suave gambler hat, okay. <laughs> wild wasteland shows up in the weirdest ways. Hey, perception plus one? Absolutely. Okay, well, perception's back to five. That's good. Uh, F5, boom. Now we've got a nice hat. Styling. We, people, we just earned style points. We did it! We got an upgrade! We got class. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. Hey, we're a contender now. We've got the hat. 
We've got the style. Oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> you know, I thought that was going to be some secret or something. No, it wasn't. It was just... Probably went on some business trip or something, and you know, they they give you that, that obligatory mug. That, hey, you know, you did some business with this company, or hey, thanks for coming to our retreat. What's all this, Sonny? What happened? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Oh, Go healing on powder. Go campfire now. Give it a try. Okay. Uh, except, sure. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Alright. Alright. Hey, uh, people, I'm just gonna take a quick moment here to look up how do I holster my weapon. Because, see, I don't want to walk into a nice establishment such as the Prospector Saloon with my varmint rifle out. You catch my meaning here? Oh, wait. Wait. I'm... Hold up. Wait a... M if I... I mean, I can do that and unequip it, but... Let's let's look this one up. Fallout New Vegas. Holster. Oh, it's it's just hold the reload button. Okay. Okay. Hey, it worked. Okay. We're good. All right. Race it back there, Sonny. Oh. Oh, you're not in a hurry. You're taking your sweet time. Okay. I'll catch you later. <laughs> oh, boy. I forget how slow NPCs move in these games sometimes. It's hilarious. It's like they're in no hurry at all. And then there's us. Our sorry excuse for a sprint. <gasps> Oh, most there. Oh, oh. I gotta catch a breather. All right, we're good. <laughs> Just me poking some fun at the at the running mechanics. I'm gonna keep doing that throughout the series. Hey, with a name like with a name like uh, Shenanigans, it has to be a Riz, a Riff just funny. Wow, me. That was one of the worst lines you've ever had. Yikes. Certified yikes guy in here. Hey, people. You know, if there's anybody that's going to be the first person to tell me that I said something that wasn't funny or entertaining, it's going to be myself. I'm my own worst enemy at times, and you know what? I'm done being nice. Oh. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Howdy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. 
We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. And where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. So, what are you going to do then? This, this cop guy. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. So, what I'm getting is, the genius at the NCR was like, You know it would be a good idea. What's that, Commander? We use the prisoners to blast. To mine. To do things we need them to do. So what are you saying? I'm saying, if we have sticks of dynamite, we give them those so they can do their job more effectively. What could possibly go wrong? Huh! Why did nobody ask that? No brainer, people! You got sticks of dynamite you're gonna hand them to convicts? Boy! I guess background checks don't don't exist in, in the wasteland. Great job, guys. Real winners! You did it! Congratulations! Big old L. Okay. So, why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Well, never mind then. I'd want to talk about something else. Alright. So, who was that man you were arguing with then? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. So what happens if I help this Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Huh. So... I help Ringo... And Good Springs will like me more. And if I help the Powder Gangers, then? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Hey, that's a fair point. You know, I'm just covering my bit. Look, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I just got shot in the head sometime lately. Uh, in game. Game. What was that? Oh, sorry. I'm. Must have been the wind. Uh, yeah. So, I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Who the ones who you know put a bullet into said skull. <sighs> know anything about them? Not much. Other than there were a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. And did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Go on. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So... Where were they headed then? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. Okay, in other news, you know, I, that's good intel you gave me there. Thank you, thank you, that's very helpful. Ah, oh, my head. Hey, uh, 
You know, I haven't run into that robot around here. Uh, Victor, do you know the, the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. So, you know, I've heard his name or mention of him several times within the last hour. You know, it, it hasn't been a long time that I've been up and around. Maybe it's been two. I don't know. It gets it gets fuzzy. Time time is just it, it's a construct. I don't I don't or whatever it is. I don't I don't know how it works. I ain't got a clock. So, but anyways, what does he what's he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. So you don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. And how long has he been in Good Springs for? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. All right, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Uh, you know, I take a look at your broken radio, but on account of my head not being so good, I, I don't quite remember how that works. You know, is there anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? I, I've been out of it for a little bit. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Huh. Tell me about the NCR. I've, I've heard that name dropped a few times as well. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Okay. So, why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam, then? I, I don't quite understand. Is there... Is there something more than a dam there? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Huh. Okay. So what can you tell me about the Legion, then? I, you've mentioned them several times. What, what do you know about them? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Yikes, okay. Well, you know, Sonny was telling me back there. You know, we went out to uh, take care of a gecko issue or two at some of the springs, and uh, she mentioned that you like to meet visitors around here. Does Good Springs get many visitors? Or how often does that happen? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Alright. Hey, thanks for the help. Goodbye. Be careful out there. I can't make any promises. Don't want to make a promise I can't keep. Last time I did that, I think I uh, caught something in the head, if you catch my meaning. Anyway, have a very good day. Okay, book it. No, wait, is that the exit? Oh, oops, that's a uh, pick that. Yeah, sorry, I went the wrong way. Hi. Oh. Hey, Sonny. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Uh, I'm a little short on calves. Don't suppose there's any work available. Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. You know what? I already cracked that safe. Hey, when you sent me to look for uh, Xander Root, you said it was over there. I went in there. The little uh, bugs attacked me. Well, the not so little bugs, I suppose. But anyway, I got into that. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. 
It'll be more useful to you than me. Hey, thanks, Sonny. Uh, look. Hey, thanks for the help. I, I just need to ask one more thing of you around here. Uh, look, the people that put a bolt in my head, I want to go after them. Last I heard, they were heading to a place called Prim toward there, right? I need to get there. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Thanks. Thanks, son. Actually, one more thing. You know, I mean, if I'm going to be taking the road, I've also heard that the I-15's a little bit dangerous, so to speak. What, with some creatures here and there that I need to bypass a little bit. Can you tell me anything about the areas around Good Springs? Sure. What do you want to know? Well, what kind of creatures are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. Yikes. Okay. So what are the towns nearby, then? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Well, I've heard about the NCR already, so I'm not going to bother asking about that. Well, that, and that must have been the intel on the I-15, then, that you mentioned. So don't go to Quarry Junction or Sloan. At least not yet. Got it. Uh, that's all I want to know? Great. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Sure thing. Hey, goodbye, son. You've been a great help. Until next time. Yeah, I'll come back eventually. Eventually. Well... I reckon we gotta go help uh, a man in need, you know? Those powder gangers, uh, they're up to no good. Gotta do something about that. Sunset Sarsaparilla. Well, 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 look at that. Regains health and honestly no downsides to it. I like the look of that. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Whoa, 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 Ringo. I'm not an enemy if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's <sighs> all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? Uh, what are the rules caravan again? I sort of took one in the head and the uh, details a little fuzzy. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids, so there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced, and more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Thank you. Where can I find more cards? Just keep an eye out for them while you travel. I've found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves. Can find some for sale, too. Thank you. Look, I don't have time for a game right now. All right. As much as I'd like it. Did you know there's a man named... Joe Cobb looking for you. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. 
There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. So what are you gonna do about the powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Hey, if you need a hired gun, I'm available. May have taken a tap to the skull, but... I can handle a gun. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps, but you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. All right. It'll have to do what now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll see what I can do. I'll ask around, see what I can round up. Let's get ourselves a little good old posse going. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. I'd agree with that sentiment, my friend. Be back soon. Hey there. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Say no more. I'm in. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I'm a Securitron, Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trails! Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg, and my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. At least six, Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far.
I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. 